Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel from Fee to You. I'm Fee. Today I'm going to be wire wrapping this cabochon. It is a rose quartz stone. It's polished and it's about oh, let's see, three quarters of an inch at its widest point, and it is exactly one inch at the tallest point. So if you like to see me wrap this. Continue watching. The Rose Quartz is um, known for being the stone of love, unconditional love. I think I'm gonna do something with that. I'm going to be using 20 gauge wire as well as 24 gauge wire to wrap around it. Go ahead and cut four pieces of the 20 gauge wire at 12 inches each. After aligning the four wires, I went ahead and used a Sharpie to mark the center point of the wires, right there at five. I went and used the 24 gauge wire to write the word love in cursive. And I left about three and a half inches of free wire. Next thing I'm going to do is take that word love that I had previously and use the long end of it to wrap around the center to hold my wires together. And I wrapped it all the way up to the letter E. Next, I'll place the wires at the base of the stone here and just go ahead and wrap the wires around that stone to get the shape. And pinch there at the top as usual. Next thing I'm going to do is press the word love over the top of my stone just to get a good fit to make sure that the letters fit onto the stone. They may be a bit big where I have to just make them a bit smaller and they are the l is a little big so i'm just gonna tighten that curve a little and then i'm going to remove the stone and take that very first wire on both sides like that and I'm going to connect the L to that wire over here and over here using the 24 gauge wire. I'll just go ahead and cut two pieces. I'm not going to measure it, but I'll say about two inches. I'm just gonna wrap it, put it through that little loop of the L, the small loop, not the bigger loop, and see if that works. This is my first time doing this, so it's a bit of trial and error, so we'll see how it works. So I wrapped it once around the um, loop there, and here is that wire. I think I'm just gonna save that wire to wrap around these and not mess with this too much because I don't wanna take its shape away. Take away the shape of the L. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this side as well. that part connected as well all right now I'm going to go ahead and put the stone back inside close off the neck here take another piece of the 24 gauge wire and wrap wrap it around the neck there a couple of times and I'll just go ahead and trim it off And I'll go ahead and put the stone back inside. Hopefully it still has a snug fit. Yay, it does. All right. So like I said before, I'm going to take these wires and just wrap it around the sides here. one time would be enough I don't want to overcrowd the wire so I just wrapped it one time around I'm gonna do the other one the same way I'll just go ahead and trim these extra wires off. Excess wires. go ahead and put the stone back inside see what we have here and I'll just turn it over to the back and just secure the back of the frame by pulling these wires over with my nails right, just pull that side over and the same for this side. All 
Let's do a little bit here at the top as well. Just a smidge. Probably just that side. I don't want to ruin this part here, so I'll leave that like that. I'll go ahead and finish the neck. This is a quick and easy pendant, actually. Hard part was just, that wasn't even hard, really, just wrapping that. So, let me go ahead and finish off the neck. I'm going to spread these wires apart. I don't want to keep all of them. I think I'll just clip maybe two or three of them. All right, so I've spread the wires out. Um, I have three on either side. And then in the back, I folded down the two like that. I'm not going to cut them yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. And of course, I have a piece of that uh, 24 gauge wire here from the neck previously that I'm going to seal off the bail with. Okay, so I think I have an idea. I don't know how it's going to work yet, but I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to take these next two back wires and... And put those together. And let that be the bail. But for now, let's move it out of the way. And these four front wires, I want to try something. So I'm going to grab my step pliers here and use one of the steps to place it right there in the middle. Let's put this like this. Place it right there in the middle. And bend those wires around it. a heart to go along with my theme never said it was going to work I said I was going to try it and so far it looks like I'm failing miserably but I'm not going to give up I'm not failing. It's working, actually. Just got to get the shape right. See, that's what I do. I practice stuff on camera. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's what I'm doing. I've never done this before. Could have easily created what I wanted to create and then show you guys like, hey, do this and do that. But actually, no, I have no idea what I'm doing. That's the fun of it. I think that'll work. So I'm gonna just trim these long wires off now. And press them flat. And I'll 
gonna go ahead and shape my bell. And close it off. All right, the bail is set. Let's go ahead and try to fix these wires on the heart here. Now for the bell, I think I'm gonna spread these wires out so they can like blend in with the heart. Like that. Yeah, I think that's cool. And then I'll just close here. Now I will trim these wires here from the bell. I was gonna cut the two back wires like they are, just snip it, but I decided to take one of them to the front and just made a little coil swirl there on the front there and brought the wire back to the back. And now I'll just curve that wire right there. And now I think I will go ahead and snip this one. I think that's enough for the front. I don't want to overcrowd it. Yeah, so I'm just going to snip this one here. and leave it like that. And I think we're done. And there you have it guys, another completed project. I hope you enjoyed following along and I thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.